My people, the greatest ability to impact in lives lies in the hands of those in government. But a major obstacle to its successful delivery is not having the right people in the right skills in that government. Who are we? Where have we been? Whenever I think about this incredibly blessed state and our people, I'm saddened at the state of our affairs because I know we have no business being where we find ourselves today. Our people are like no other in this country. We're unique people. Yes, we are a proud people, a diverse people. This is one place in Nigeria where it would be acceptable to say one rivers, one people. Welcome to River State. Though we are Nigerians, we who call this place home are distinct. We are people who have a proud heritage. We have stood up for the right of the downtrodden, fought for the right to be free. We have stood on the fault lines of history without being cowed by the might of oppressors to our livelihood. We are people that came early to appreciate the value of education, enterprise in international trade, and established relationships with merchants and tradesmen from far and near, while others were still searching for an identity. We were comfortable in our skins and are proud of our natural habitat. As children, it was a source of unfolding wonder and an adventure to navigate through the many creeks and tributaries that made up our vast delta from which River State was coined. We reveled at the agility of the fishermen and women who plied their trades daily as flying boats raced by, causing their wooden canoes to bob and sway in the waves. Our warmth as a people meant we welcomed strangers and visitors alike. We exchanged pleasantries and shared our culture imbued with rich tradition. With the melody of drums and singing and dancing as the masquerades performed their incredibly colorful acts before the young and old alike. Nothing gave the aspiring reverse youth a sense of belonging and self-worth more than simply knowing their roots, where and how their story began. So what went wrong? There's an old saying, nothing goes for nothing. Essentially, everything has a price, even freedom. Just five decades since the creation of River State, the hospitable, loving, and open nature which our people were known for has been substituted with one of suspicious divisiveness, a near total mistrust. This is morally a sinful price to pay for freedom, and certainly not what our forefathers envisaged, nor what those who sacrificed to create this state imagined. The beauty of who we are and what we stood for is hardly recognizable in the state today. Though we remain as a community of profoundly proud, we have been led to drink from the dirty waters of division and very toxic politics. Bitterness, hatred, idle hands was never in our DNA. It is time to rediscover the tapestry of kindness, love, gentleness and hospitality that defined our state creation 50 years ago. There is an overflow of riches in what is beneath, around and over the waters of River State. We are tired of being poverty-stricken in the midst of plenty. Life for the young and elderly should no longer be a nightmare. There is no joy in our young men and women being killed because of failed institutions. We are tired of our women becoming widows even before they become mothers. We are tired of our farmlands being flooded because of uncaring governments. Why should our graduates roam the streets with no jobs at all? We are truly tired of businesses shutting down and fleeing the state because of the scourge of insecurity that has now turned kidnapping into a thriving business. We yearn for a time when the righteous will be in authority so singing, celebration, life and prosperity can flow down the rivers of our communities again. So here is my clarity of purpose. People sometimes talk about money and giving it out. It's been done before, yet our people still wallow in poverty. My idea has to lead everyone to where there is an abundance of wealth, peace 
and happiness and opportunities beyond just crude oil and other natural resources. My goal hinges on immediately changing our economic state from one that is declining to a rapidly developing land of opportunities. The phrase Garden City was once synonymous with a lush, opportunity-driven and hopeful place. We can recreate that prospect again for River State. We truly can. In my life's journey, I've come to learn that the blessings of this world means nothing if one cannot use it to the benefit of people, my people. I have been listening over the last few months to you, the people of River State. I sincerely believe that this is our time to rewrite our history and give all the glory to God Almighty as we journey along. You see, my government will be our government. My ears and eyes and heart will be open. It will be, I will be in your home, on your farms, in your marketplace. We will be in your children's schools and walk with you when times are tough or even when they are great. The state house will no longer be for the ruler but open for the people for whom we were elected to serve. Yes, to serve. As governor, I will be your servant and you will be my judge. You will judge my performance. You will judge me by how many people have been made wealthier, not because they know anyone in government, but simply because of new opportunities and that the ease of doing business has improved. You will tell me not just how many children are enrolled in schools, but how many excel in their exams. I wholly accept to be judged by you, my people, by the direct and positive impact I make in the life of the everyday reversed person. Today marks the beginning of a new dawn, a rebirth of hope, a rekindling of life, and the journey into a new future for River State. I know and you know very well about the politics of fear and intimidation. But to move forward, you have to trust again, dream again, hope again, believe not just in yours, but your children's future. As a woman gives birth through pain to life, let us celebrate our courage, embrace our dreams, march with our feet, vote with our hands, and let us collectively in faith and through prayers, one word at a time, one family at a time, one person at a time, journey towards our promised land. My people, brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, young and old, farmer and fisherman, market woman and trader, you in the upland and you in the river Rhine areas, I cannot take you to this promised land without your vote on March 2nd, 2019. It's time for the son of grace, peace, goodness and prosperity to rise again over our land. It's time for us to show our fellow Nigerians and the rest of the world who we are. A hopeful people, a proud people, a people who will take once again their destiny in their hands. My name is Tony Patrick Cole. I'm a pastor, an entrepreneur, a global leader. Thank you for the opportunity to truly serve. God bless you all.